I asked my Instagram friends to help me figure out bedding that wouldn't make me a crazy mama for the three bunks in our RV renovation. And hundreds of comments all came back the same. Can you guess what they said? It was a resounding response for Betty's Beds, the popular and adorable zip-up bedding taking the parenting world by a storm. But wait, could we make them work for RV bunks and mattresses that are more narrow than a standard twin? Well, I'm here to testify that a little DIY action, and you bet we can, let me show you how. I am so thrilled to be sharing all about our Betty's beds that we've used in our bunks and for the sliding bed in our RV renovation, tidbits on wheels. I'm even more grateful to have the opportunity to have Betty's as my sponsor today. Together we are going to show you how cute their bedding is, but also some DIY hacks for making Betty's work for you on mattresses that might not be as thick or as wide as a standard mattress. So after living with Betty's for weeks now in our RV, I literally cannot imagine the bedding mess I would have in the RV without Betty's. They are a lifesaver and I would highly recommend them for any bunk bed or any bed where you feel you might benefit from having easy bed making as your priority. First, I want to show you the styles we picked out, then I'll show you how easy they are to make up in these extremely tight RV quarters. Finally, I will detail everything we did to make Betty's work for these more narrow RV bunk beds. Be sure to catch the link below to shop for Betty's and grab my personal code to save you money on your own Betty's bedding. So over here on these three bunks, I opted to choose a variety of styles. It gives this space a playful vibe and my kiddos love having their own special Betty's. Uh, the bottom bunk is my little boys and I chose the Farmhouse Betty's, which is one of their newest releases. I am a sucker for stripes and I love how this pairs with his gray gingham wallpaper. In the middle bunk is my little girl who is actually not super girly. Um, so I picked out the oh so boho Betty's. She loves it, and I love the neutral oatmeal color and the soft, gauzy feel of the fabric. The neutral color will go with anything we pair with, and her favorite color is blue, so it goes great with her wallpaper as well. We chose the Betty's that is lined with soft, minky fabric in the lining, and I love the graphic touches of the sheets underneath. This one has the text, Good night. Okay, up on the top is this very tight and cozy bunk, which my older girl insisted on having. We picked the chic white, which has an adorable little ruffles and gathers. I just love how all three of these Bettys work so well together, even with the varying wallpaper. It is such a happy little corner of our tiny home. In the rollaway bed, we chose the chic gray. Having this bedding zip up easily and be nice and snug to this mattress is everything. It works so well. So every morning like clockwork, my kids know how to zip up their beds before breakfast. And the beautiful thing about this is I didn't even have to train them. It was so easy and rewarding for them. They just do it. And that really is the beautiful thing about independent bed making. All they need to do is tuck the minky lining inside smooth it out on top and then zip it right up. The farthest they can go in these tight bunks is right up to this closet wall, but it still looks great. Um, they can even fold it down up here if they prefer. Sometimes they get shifted a bit and I just need to come in and pull it back up against the wall and tuck it in a bit more. All right, so making Betty's work for your narrow RV bunks. On a standard mattress, the Betty's is made to have the zipper fit right at the top edge of the mattress. Um, with an RV mattress being more narrow, the zippered edge may need to fit slightly lower. Um, however, this still looks great and is much better than trying to tuck a comforter and sheets into this um, tricky spot every day. 
With this added material overlapping the mattress, there's a specific item that you need to hold the beddies in place. And this is sheet suspenders, which I will link to in my RV shop resource page below. Now I learned this trick from an Instagram account I love following, RV Fixer Upper. I'll also link to that below. And it is so very handy. These suspenders will hold the inside of that gathered bedding tight together so that beddies will just zip fit and work better than any other option in bunk beds. We actually bought memory foam from a standard size twin mattress for these narrow bunk spots because they were a lot more affordable and comfortable than many of the RV foam mattresses that you see on the market. I will show you in this video how we cut down the foam to fit these spots and then how we fit the beddies on with the suspenders. I hope that watching that process made sense. If you need a little more clarification, hop on over to my blog. I will have a picture tutorial there as well. Um, I'll address one more question, which is how do you wash your beddies? And we learned this the very first week we moved into our RV after our son got a stomach bug and threw up all over them. Uh, you can read more about washing beddies on their site, but please note that beddies will detach into two separate pieces right from the zipper and at the end of the comforter. This makes it easy to watch, wash each piece separately without adding too much bulk to the washer. Um, after washing these, I've been so pleased that they still look brand new and as cozy as ever. I hope you've enjoyed this video and discovered how you can make Betty's work for your spaces, no matter how large or small they are. Thank you so much for watching and for following me along for inspiration for do-it-yourself living.